This is my trusty old helmet stand. This thing has helped me paint and do work on every helmet project I've made for the past few years, but I realized I could improve a lot about its design and functionality. The main issue I wanted to fix with the original stand is actually its height. I made it quite tall so that it would work with a lot of different helmet projects, and of course they're all different sizes, but the problem is that sometimes it's too tall, or at the very least it would be nice to be able to adjust the height depending on the project, or even depending on what I'm trying to do on the same project. Maybe there are a lot of details on the top of a helmet, but the same helmet still has a lot of side and underside details that I'm going to need to work on at some point as well. So I came up with this design for a new helmet stand that's going to be able to adjust to the project's specific needs, and it's super easy to make. So today I'll be showing you how to actually make this helmet painting stand. <laughs> The first thing you'll need to build this helmet painting stand is a circular wood plaque. This one is specifically meant to build a clock, which is why it has a hole pre-drilled in the center, although right now you can see there is a bolt there because I wanted to see if this bolt would fit and then proceeded to get it stuck in there. So uh, you're also gonna need a 3 8 of an inch by one inch carriage bolt, and that is so you can screw on these to the wood plaque. And these are tripod extenders. They are metal poles that can extend and be easily tightened into place to allow for any length or height that you may need. They can be attached to one another or used separately, so I got two of these slightly shorter and inexpensive ones so that I could have a ton of play with the possible height range. You'll also need something to use as a top cap to the poles. I designed and 3D printed this disc to use, similar to what I typically make for my display helmet stands, but this one has a spot for the tripod extender screw to actually screw into. I'll leave a link to the file in the description box as it should fit with most tripod extenders if you're wanting to build one of these for yourself. I started off by doing a couple of quick rough coats with this satin black paint. Honestly, this was mostly for the sake of the video, but I suppose that covering the raw wood might have actually been a good idea, and it also gave the final stand a nice consistent black finish. Now would of course typically be the time that you would screw in the bolt to the wood plaque, but since mine's already somewhat permanently in there, we're going to move on to adding some feet. I'm going to be using these screw-in rubber feet. This technically is an optional step, but I don't think you're going to find a screw or bolt in the right size for the tripod extender that's going to be countersunk. So you're going to have this bolt sticking out from the bottom of the plaque and therefore you're going to need some sort of foot to relevel the bottom. So I half measured, half eyeballed the plaque into six and marked where I wanted to attach the feet. And then of course it screwed all of the feet into place. The final step is to actually attach the tripod extender onto the base. I also love pairing these types of stands with these rotating platform Lazy Susan sort of bases. And of course the last thing we actually need is a helmet for the stand. But there we have the finished perfect helmet painting stand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.